able to interact, use the technology so that we don't bring everybody uh, under one roof to try and comply with the numbers that are needed. Uh, and uh, we have been talking to clusters in different uh, districts uh, through the, 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 the technology, which was encouraging uh, in my view. And um, we will be having uh, roadblocks in our roads to try and make sure that uh, a compliance is being adhered to. And uh, we, we, we would want to uh, thank the police for the standing work, the, all the law enforcement agents for the standing work that they are doing. I was disappointed though by the fact that some people had actually escaped quarantine. And uh, that in my view was not being responsible enough for those citizens that have done that. But we are monitoring them now. We, 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 we have our eyes on, on everybody in, 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 in all the corners of our province. So we believe that from now on we will cooperate with everybody, starting from government, uh, councillors, uh, wards, um, le le traditional leadership, and all the stakeholders that are necessary in our province. Uh, we are aware that uh, this pandemic is still going to be with us for some time. So what we need and the message is stay at home, obey the restrictions that have been given by declared by our government because we want to save, save the lives of our people that may be affected. We would like the police to monitor very closely uh, Shibin's uh, areas where people would want to be congested uh, unnecessarily. And we will be making sure that everybody is at the right place at the right time. Those that would want to loiter around in the road without having things that are proving to us that they are indeed within the essential services, we, are, we will be able to deal with. We would like to appreciate as well a religious leadership. Some of them have shown uh, that they are responsible, responsible enough. We do know that there are some that are, that are, not, that are, that are uttering uh, words that are not showing responsibility. But we are still asking them to please try as much as possible to, to obey. We thank you very much for, for, for coming here and talking to us. And uh, we must meet on the road uh, because our, our law enforcement agencies are all over the show. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, acting president. I want to uh, make a brief remarks on behalf of the Prof. Now, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I want to say greeting to all the media fraternity and the community at large out there, the people of KwaZulu Natal and the South Africans as a whole. Uh, as the South African Police Service, we are ready. Uh, all left law enforcement agencies, not South African Police Service. Uh, as you can see, we are all here. We are all ready uh, to make sure that we enforce uh, the decision of government, which is the policy of the people of South Africa, as mandated by the government. We are ready to discharge our responsibilities as law enforcement agencies. Come 12 o'clock midnight, and everybody will expect to obey uh, the decision that has been taken to obey the law. And uh, we hope that there's going to be cooperation with the South African and us, uh, so that there's no one who, who, who's finding himself uh, on the wrong side of the law. So we are not here just to, to be too harsh, but we just want to work with the South Africans. And the South African, we also expect them to be responsible. This is all about their own safety, what is happening now. In order to cut this pandemic that is spreading so widely, it's all about the responsibility for each and every one to say, as South Africans, let's all work together to stop this pandemic before it takes lives of our people in this country. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, General. Uh, colleagues, uh, you may want to ask questions. You can direct the question to any 
uh, of uh, my panelists here, uh, they will try to <coughs> respond. So you introduce yourself, the media house, and then you ask a question. Uh, okay, let me go in the sequence of one, two, three. Let's take the first one. Indicate who you are directing the question to. Okay, uh, thank you very much. My name is Kosko Duma. I'm from uh, Private Broadcasting. Um, the first question is to, I don't know who's perhaps the appropriate body, so I'm just going to put it out there. Um, how are you going to implement this, particularly in rural areas? Uh, we understand that some livestock needs to be added, um, so uh, people will need, are you going to be monitoring how is that done? Uh, will it be now a criminal offense to take your cattle to the river? What about people who have to collect water from river streams that may be far away from their homes? Um, what are the do's and don'ts for those kinds of people? I'm just talking about how this will be particularly implemented in the rural areas. Um, the second question has to do with, um, okay, maybe let me just end it here for now. Okay. I'm Martin Lundan from Daily News. My question is something to use about the in the urban setting, it's uh, essentially around the implementation of this. So the one, the first question is, is around the pensions, Kabit and Kabit one, where there will be a lot of old people, people getting their grants, you know, goods, and they will need transport. And uh, there's this time now of between 5 a.m. and 9, and 9 a.m., you know, and the one for the evening. So I want you to get the logistics of that. And also, there's going to be people, for instance, who are going to be saying, ah, I'm going to buy two cities. You know, but it's about to buy two cities. So I'm just looking for, you know, to get some information about those kind of issues. So, OK. Thank you. Yeah, come back. OK, uh, maybe let's start with uh, uh, any of the panelists to add. I think the, we, we, we want to be very sensitive to, to people, uh, to our people, uh, especially uh, in the rural areas. Uh, you mentioning that uh, the, 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 the cattle can only be looked after by, by one person. And at least it, that is an explanation enough to explain to the police or to whoever that you meet on the road if you if you looking after your cattle because we can't make them suffer. But what we should understand is this this is an abnormal situation. It's not a normal situation. Even even people that will be bearing their loved ones. In most cases you would find that they use they used to use a a one dish so that you 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 everybody is using it. We are saying this time around they need to be innovative. At least you must make you must make a, 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 make it a point that you you do not use one and the same a dish to to wash your hands. It's 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 one kind of 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 of, of um, the situation that we expect our people to 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 to, to do. And in terms of the the, the pensioners, I, I I know that the minister and the MEC in our province has has, has made a pronouncement that. Uh, uh, in any case, uh, the money is going to be in your bank, in the post office. There is no need to rush because the money sh shall end. Uh, she even said, the MEC said, they will try as much as possible that they pay people before the normal date so that they are also able to, to, do, their, to, make, to do their groceries. But uh, I would imagine if a person is found driving from Deben to Peter Marisbeck, and he, he says, I'm going to buy grocery. Mm. That, there's nobody that will be satisfied with that answer. You can't leave a shop close to you and, and, and take a vehicle and drive a, a far away from your area and, and go and buy groceries. In any case, there, there is going to be local transport at certain times. So we urge people to obey those times so that you wake up at, 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 at the at earliest, uh, as early as possible, use the transport to, the, to, to buy grocery and get back. So we believe uh, our people are, are going to manage their times. Um, 
Um, yeah, I think I've covered. Unless, unless you think the, the. Mm. Oh yes, in terms of water, MEC champions have been to different districts already, and in the meeting here, health department, COCTA, they have indicated to us that they have added water tankers to deliver water to different areas, to different municipalities. And we think the, the water will be brought closer to, to communities so that they don't have to go to rivers and, and fetch water. In Zululand in particular, I was there yesterday and I'm happy with the contingency measures that the municipalities are putting in place in order for people not to suffer within this period. Uh, you satisfied with answers? Are there any additions from the panel? Okay, let's take you, sir. And uh, you'll be the third and the same around. <laughs> you'll go first. You're my number two. And then you'll be my number three. Thanks. Thank you. I'm Kavil Singh from News24. Um, I'd just like to find out, I mean, South Africa is generally a, a high crime country. Um, during this period of time, um, is there any anticipation for certain specific plans that might take place, general plans that we, we have? What are we expecting in terms of crime rates during this period of time? Will it spike? Will it be less? What sort of plans can we expect? Contact plans? House Okay. The second one. Um, Well, well, firstly, we, we believe South Africans have got to protect one another. And uh, each individual has got to protect him or herself. By staying in your home, it would mean you are very serious about protection of your own self. Because going out, you don't know what you are going to meet. 
you don't know you don't know who you are going to contact, whether or not that person is immune from the disease. Would you, as an individual, want to risk uh, your family members by just sneaking out and meeting a group of people? I doubt that people would really need to do that. Walking the dog, yesterday there was a stabi business stability meeting. Some business people were saying, uh, we, we are going to shut down our businesses, but we don't want people to have holidays and walk their dogs and have a gym, be, have luxury. Now, we think people will, would, would respect that because this is a shutdown. And police will be all over to try and clamp down on those that, are, that would want to break the law. Um, Correctional Services, they had, they had made a presentation to the uh, JCPS cluster. They, they have actually uh, shut down on people on visits both hospital to hospitals and to correctional services centers. And I'm afraid I don't think anybody will, would want to say where these people are that are, that are arrested. It would be, it would be naive for, 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 for police to tell us uh, that we have arrested so-and-so and, -so and uh, he is in Kalagabusha. Uh, you will be scaring a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> So I, I, I don't know what, what, what you really would want to know about this one. Roadblocks, I am responsible for the safety of this province. And the directive is that there has got to be roadblocks. And we have an integrated uh, uh, security plan. Uh, we will all be working together with all law enforcement agencies uh, in our route, and uh, we we really would want people to to be to to to, to obey the law. The last one is a high number of the crime that is talking to a crime. It is not only South Africa that has got a crime rate that is high, but um, in the meeting that we are coming from, we we do anticipate that if people would be coming from Joburg, Deben, and and go back to their homes. <coughs> You would, you would expect gender-based violence. And according to the presentation and the state of readiness of our police, uh, they are going to be prioritizing those cases as well. The, I think that's how, remember, NPA as well. They, they are also scared to, to, to take people that are arrested because of the breaking of the law, those that were quarantined, but they, they, they escaped. We are still having to battle to take those people to court because we want to protect the prosecutors as well. So we may not, we, we may, if a person has been arrested for breaking the law, unfortunately that person will, will have to stay there before uh, appearing in court. But I, I wouldn't answer whether the media would be allowed or not. Uh, uh, maybe those people that are qualified to do that, they will whether they should allow the media in or not or not. No, no, thank you very much. Uh, maybe from the uh, from the law enforcement agency side. There was this question of the, someone who wants to walk the dog. I'm sure our yards are there enough. The dog can be walked in around our house without going outside. Uh, the dog, if one, someone wants to walk the dog within the premises of the house, you can round and round and round and round with the dog. Because outside, that is what we are appealing. Now, regarding these uh, people who are arrested, yes, there were quite a number of the people that were arrested. These people were arrested for contravening some of the regulations. Uh, the regulations, they were arrested for contravening the regulations. And the cases are at courts. Uh, accordingly, uh, although one does not have the next remand dates as to when are the next remand dates. 
but the way people for contravening the regulation is not necessarily for going and swimming. And the way times where you say if the people are gathering, they cannot be more than this number in the eating place, in the drinking place, but they violated those regulations. That those are the regulations. Majority of them are those type of the regulation that were violated. Now also. Uh, there was this uh, clarity to say if s people are gathering on the road. The regulation is very clear. The regulation says stay within your, your premises, you stay within your house. The regulation also make provision to say these are exceptions to the rule. Uh, it makes provision if you're going to get medical attention, you're going for clinic medical attention, you're going to buy uh, the food, uh, or we are part of essential services who's going even also make provision for those uh, people who are collecting the grant to send a specific day when they're collecting the grant it makes provisions for that as well but why then stay in the house because we are saying uh, in this period the, the reason for this is to try to control this pandemic so one is expecting all the South Africans to act responsibly to say let me also be the one that contributes in really reversing the scale of this pandemic that is affecting our country. Because today we may say it's not me, it's that one, but tomorrow you will find that it's you who is the victim. So I and you and all of us, let's act responsibly now. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Yara. In essence, it means uh, no taxes, no visit to neighbors, just stay in jobs. That's, that's the message. Uh, there was a traffic-related uh, question, uh, Mr. Can I, can I cover that one as well? Okay. So if, if, if uh, uh, we are law enforcement agencies, from the law enforcement agency perspective, whether you are a traffic, whether you are SNDF, whether you are Metro Police, we are all one. Because one, the movement on the roads is restricted. Is restricted to say when you move in point A to point B, it must be as the regulation prescribed, as the regulation is prescribed, and the reasons are also stated to say these are the reasons. So the Metro Police is also there, it's part of the law enforcement agency. We are all one as a team. And remember, there is going to be a movement of essential goods. So the enforcement will have a responsibility to check if really that's a movement of essential goods. Uh, some people are smuggling other things as well. Mm -hmm. okay, but if you can, if there's anything to add, SNDF. Cover, thank you. Uh, the soldiers arrive, uh, are, they, <laughs> are they ready to, <laughs> to go to the hospital? <laughs> soldiers is ready, and we'll be deployed accordingly. Okay. Was well, there any last one? <laughs> Uh, my question is in regards to the taxi industry. Uh, yesterday, a couple of mine was doing a story, and they talked to some time. They were really uh, They were complaining that they are not properly briefed, and that the hearing of these uh, restrictions uh, were asking it. Now, um, from the people we talked to, they uh, said that I was to because, you know, of uh, the lack of communication and the normal fears that the businesses are going to suffer, etc., etc., etc. Now, I want to get from your side, you know, in terms of have you guys on your side actually talked to these guys, you know, um, and um, the associations? Because there's some type of thing that's happening about the other of the associations. Have you guys talked about it? Have, have you guys come to any resolutions you know, on how to uh, go forward? Or is it going to be it's like this? So, let me say before you come in, can I take the last one so that when the MEC and the panel respond, they know that after that you are closing the case. Because the MEC has to join the, 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 the program in tax pressure, the premium of 11. So that was the last question. Uh, sorry, I just, um, just following up on the question that I asked. So these people that have been arrested, uh, both the COVID-19 case or cases, where they kept right now, and also the people who broke the law, uh, who you say uh, gathered maybe in that group, where are they? Are they out on, on a bail? I know the rest of people that post, but are they in prison somewhere? And just this last one for, for the for for the soldiers. What are the rules of engagement? What are the do's and don'ts for anyone 
people may encounter with any law enforcement official, do they have to produce? Because I'm asking this, I know that when police have to come, they have to produce a warrant, right? A search letter. But because you're under these conditions, all law enforcement officials, before they engage with you, how can, how can a member of the public be asserting that I am indeed interacting with a law enforcement officer so that they're actually safe? That those and those around the process. Okay. Uh, that's the question. No, it's not a question. But I will please request the MEC after you finish to analyze the question. And so what we'll do, uh, once they've responded to all the questions, then the, the, the MEC will then give you the summary. Uh, the MEC. The, the, the we are not going to disclose, but we do have people that are ar that not necessarily arrested that had um, broken the quarantine uh, from other province to our province while it has been in the news, and that person is kept who, in isolation uh, because he, this person left the province, came over to our province, and then uh, he was traced and... and uh, uh, he was arrested, and as such, that person is in is, is placed a, a, in isolation, as as it were. A Santaco issue. We met with Santaco last week. A, the leadership of Santaco in the province. It was um, MEC uh, for health and myself. Um, and I must say, we were very happy with the initiative that they had taken because they were ahead of, 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 of us in terms of the distribution of sanitizers in, the, in different ranks. Uh, it was only yesterday that uh, uh, Mr. Zondi called me, uh, indicated uh, the, some dissatisfaction uh, of the lack of engagement at a national level. Uh, but their concern was more of the allowance of uh, sh uh, of local uh, operators, uh, but the shutdown on long distances, which I think we, we are addressing. But uh, you you would understand that tra public transport is going to suffer like all other businesses, uh, because it would mean if people uh, if there's lock in lockdown, everybody will be staying at home. Even factories will be closed. There is a minimum number of people that will be going out of their homes to work, to buy groceries. So the cake has shrinked, and I understand their frustration, and, but it is not going to be only them that are going to suffer as a result of these restrictions. Okay. Uh, was there any question? What was the question about the soldiers? No, the, everybody, the police have got their, their, their own uh, 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 first uniform. Secondly, they've got uh, 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 their, their, uh, their ID, ID uh, 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 name tags. They also have their ID uh, 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 cards, so I appointment cards. So I think uh, they will prove to you that indeed because it's not that he, the person will be going alone as a policeman, a policewoman. They, you would find that they, they will be in tools because we don't want people, to, uh, our police to be attacked as well by, by people on the road because they are vulnerable as well. Mm. Okay. Colleagues, uh, I hope you are all satisfied. <laughs> Thank you very much. The, the Me, they will never be satisfied. Be <laughs> 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 I would be. Uh, by the way, Ungelo Nilanga Lukali Salanjalongo 8, um, the Lai Provincial Office. Ipin de Futi, Iti Tleli, Genga Utiba Ningi, Si Bonu Guti Nambing as the Ibe Nkulu, Slugan Selena Maflo, Zama Potro, Matlugan, in the same building. Court, Bessie Aguazu, Uba, we meeting Songke Squazu, communicator, Situman and Abu. Court, Nanga Pandle Walogo. 
ama clusters nawo asuke ehleli kuma cluster abe ne benefit yokuthi nawo sikwazi ku ukhuluma ukhuluma na le mihlangano ke yathendwa yibo bonke abantu abangama role players abangama stakeholders eh ama departments wonke khona from the office la premier kuya kuwo wonke ama departments amelelekile ngijabileke ukuthi indlela abangnikeze ngayo report nabaxoxa ngayo isho ukuthi si sikulungele ukubhekana nalesi simo esikhona kwi province yethu eh njengoba ekhona umfo wethu uqhilize ukuyena o acting pc nabo bonke abafo wethu nodade wethu abasema abakwi law enforcement eh sizokwazi ukusebenzisana sizaba nazi even bamgaqo eh emadolobheni nasemakhaya zizoba khona ngawo ke umuntu nomuntu sicela ukuthi athe ngendlela irresponsible ahlale khaya uma singekhe sidinge ngekho into emphoqa ukuthi aphume khaya ikhona ke nento ethi kukhona abafisa ukuthi bayothenga abanye basebenza imisebenzi le ukuyona ephuthumayo labo bantu ngoba ikhona imqathange elawula labo bantu abasebenza kanjalo ne transport futhi izoba ikhona noma kuyona transport eningi ehuvanzi nje ine ikhathi nje ngoba u president eyimemezelile nama department wonke ahlukene sizozama ukuthi sistikhe kulezo khathi ukuyizona zona ezivumelekile ngawo ke sicela imiphakathi yethu ukuthi sibekezele ukuhlala kwakhe khaya yebo kona kusho ukuthi uyaphaza umseke into eno ngabe ufanele uyazenza kodwa iqiniso ukuthi nawe uyavikeleka ekuthenini ukwazi ukuba in contact mhlambe nabantu ukuyibona bona umuntu ongahle kwenzeke ukuthi unalesi simo unalesi sifo kulesi sikhathi eh uh, yiqiniso sike sakuthola nathi umholi we Santa Cruz ngifonela izolo eh uh, kodwa thina kuyi province kuqala ngesaba na umhlangano nodade wethu okuyena ongqongqoshe wezempilo umasimelane izulu nami sahlangana nabaholi babo futhi siyasebenzisana nabo siyakuthokozela ukuthi nabo bavuma ukuthi sizobambisana sibe umshungu munye ekulekeleleni ekudistributhweni amasanitizers kodwa kizola ukuvezela ukuthi eh kukhona into abangajabulanga ngayo kodwa ibithi into akuphela eh ukuthi ama long distances avaliwe ama local avuliwe na ama local akuwona wonke azokwazi ukuthola umsebenzi uzokhumbula ukuthi kusho kuncipha komthamo wabantu abazothathwa abafothi nodade wethu abasembonini amatekisi so vele izoba khona indaba yokungathokozi kahle ngoba amatekisi awazobaba ningi azosebenza kusho ukuthi loyo kwazile ushesha thola abantu uyobu batholile ngaleso sikhathi kodwa ke futhi asifisa ukuthi sibashiye bengathokozile ngoba bayi component ebalekile ekuthina njengohulumeni sizozama uqhubeka sengetshe nabo Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.